Hey there warriors, I wanted to quickly show you my textual games project that I'm working on where you can basically play whatever you want. So in my current story I'm a cyborg cowboy leading an army against the invading alien force. And this here you can see my first level, so this is my storyline and based on that level I can decide and type in here whatever I want. So I can say for example I want to know more about aliens and that is going to happen. Or I can just choose my predefined choices that are also coming from AI and just click and play my next level. Let's start from the beginning. So entire project is built using Next.js and this is the landing page for Textual Games Project. And when we click play your story, we have to log in, so we are using here clerk authentication and I'm going to log in through my GitHub and when we log in, we are getting to our play URL and here we have three different genres. So it's fantasy, sci-fi and dystopian. And in order to play our game, we have to have tokens. In our case, here we have 206 tokens and for each level we are spending one token and if we don't have any more tokens we can buy so here if we try to buy 10 tokens we are going to stripe and here i can type in just the dummy data and i can buy tokens and then we go to this screen and from there we can just go and play our story so now we have 216 tokens. So we can now start playing our game. I'm going to choose a dystopian genre. Then here I'm going to pick a detective. I'm going to name him John Wolf. And now we are picking our story. So I'm going to put something like a thriller, like investigating a series of mysterious disappearances. That one is cool. And I can take an item with me so I'm going to choose something like tracking tools that's a good thing for detective to have and now what is happening behind the scenes AI is generating our first level so we are going to get the image of our John Wolf detective and also we are going to have that storyline so the whole story and together with our predefined choices and here we have our first level, so we can see that we have some dystopian land behind us, and this is our John Wolf, and we see that one token is removed from our total tokens here, and we have our story. So, my name is John Wolf, a seasoned detective with a keen intuition and a knack for solving mysteries, etc., etc., and we can now play level by level with our character. So let's see the code and how is this one actually created. So as I said already, we're using Next.js and I'm going to the package.json so we can see all the dependencies that are used here. So clerk is used for authentication. Then we have lang chain, which is used for the memory of our game. So for example, in the second level, our character is going to know what happened in the first level or in our 20th level, he's also going to remember it. So this is our memory and this is the core functionality of this game. And without long chain, it would probably be a little bit harder uh, to keep like the memory of our game because we would need to save everything inside the database and then serve it to our AI and then bring back with all the memories. Then we have Neon, that one is just a cloud database, so we are storing everything on the cloud for our data. Then here we are using the ShadCN, so that's where Redix UI comes from. Stripe for payments, then test, 10 stack React query, so that one is being used by TRPC to cache all of our URL API endpoint data. Then we have TRPC, so that's for creating our API endpoints. Then here we have React, things like that, nothing of that much importance, except here Drizzle, so we are using Drizzle ORM. 
then later we have again long chain which is pretty much important and that is pretty much it and zod of course for our types so let's see what is happening in the moment when we are creating our new level so this is the ai router which is part of trpc so here we are creating our api endpoint get level and here we are calling for the story creator where we have all of our prompts so for example the json formatting and then we have our inventory and the main prompt for creating our story so here we are inputting all the stuff that we are putting for our user so when you choose the genre the character name and whatever you choose it's going through here and we are sending it to the ai and when we create our prompt then we are counting how many tokens we have if we have below or equals to zero tokens we are sending not enough tokens and user cannot play the game and then we are checking if the level is the first level or second and beyond and based on that we are creating a new game and when we create a new game we are sending that prompt to our ai in this moment we are using the long chain so this is the chain conversation chain from long chain and there we are sending the model that we want and we are using the memory to store everything and after that we are calling for our data turning it to json in this moment i'm working now to save everything to database so we can get back to history of levels and then we are returning all that data to our front end to our component so if we go to our play url our page here we can see that we are using the trpc get level mutation and then when that mutation is returned here inside of our component we are setting the story as that story from our api which is using ai and that story is going directly inside of let's see which component that's the story level component and here we are just displaying everything based on our data so we are displaying this storyline this image and these this text area and predefined choices and this project is actually live on textualgames.com and you can go try it out when you register you're getting five free tokens in the beginning or if you want a little bit more you can just tell me in the comments and i'm going to give you a little bit more tokens directly from database and please tell me do you like the game and would you play something like this this is something I always wanted to build. I bought this domain 10 years ago and I was planning to do it like in some tree of decisions. But now with the power of AI, it is much easier and AI is creating the stories for me. So I can easily do something like this. Also, the entire project is open source. You have the public GitHub repository in the description below and you can try it out. You can clone it on your local machine and use your own OpenAI API key. And that way you don't have to pay anything. You can just play it locally and see how it goes. And I'm just going to create one more character before I finish this video. So I'm going to choose fantasy and orc name is going to be golmar and i'm going to lead an army against an invading force with my mace so let's see how is this orc going to look and what's the first level of my story and as always orcs are looking awesome there is an army behind and the mountains and nature and everything and now i can go and play a little bit of my orcish story <laughs> 